Welcome to my channel. This is Hot Mess and Hot Glue. My name is Lynn. Let's have some fun. We've got the very first video for 2022 and I could not be more excited. Oh my gosh, the end of last year completely did not go as planned. And you know what? That is what it is and it's behind us and we're moving forward. So our first project today, we're gonna take two of these little conversation hearts that you get at the Dollar Tree. I removed the paper from the first one, but you really don't need to and I don't do it on the second one. And I'm gonna take one of these little faux leather purses, trace out the shape of the heart, and then I'm gonna cut them out. Now I'm going to do this with both of them. I'm using the black faux leather as you see here. And on the next one, I'm going to use the kind of more pink or mauve colored uh, faux leather that comes in the little strap purses. Now they do still have these at Dollar Tree and I'm extremely excited about that. If your Dollar Tree is still $1, that's an item for me that's on my list to pick up before the prices go to $125 because here my prices are still $1. Now I did paint the sides of both of these hearts. I did black for the black faux leather and then I did kind of a reddish color for this pink one wasn't necessarily red-ish. The exact color is lacquer by Waverly. So using some of the kind of scrap uh, faux leather strips, I decided that I would display these connected almost, you know, kind of two hearts become one. Oh, so cute. Just kidding. Anyway, and then to jazz up kind of the label there. Now I've used these rub-on transfers on leather strips before. I did a project back in fall and it turned out really good. So I thought that by using the word laughter, to me in relationships and in marriage and in friendships, you know, laughter really is one of the most important things that you can have to keep your connection. And so the word laughter really meant a lot to me and I thought that would be fun to showcase here on this little bit more modern take of conversation hearts. For this next project, this just kind of came about. I had a completely different idea in mind and you'll see what I mean. So starting with this little desk calendar, um, comes with all these really good thick sheets of paper, but what I really wanted it was for was for this little stand and it has kind of this like data line. And I thought, oh, I'll pick up some of these little converse, not conversation hearts, these little like scrabble blocks. And I thought that I would make a cute sign, but they are way too small. So I scrapped that idea for now, went ahead, used some of my favorite water-based bare wood stain to give this other plaque that I got from the Dollar Tree a nice good coat of stain. Then taking one of the um, Valentine's Day kind of beaded garlands that Dollar Tree has out, I just took the whole strand and I kept it on the string and then I hot glued it down as you can see and that made it much easier to keep it in a straight line. I reinforced it and then when I was done all I had to do was pull the string through and it was completely attached. Once I was able to kind of figure out what I was going to do with this, like I said this kind of was a secondary project because my first one didn't work and I just was in the mood. I wasn't really feeling the idea of just scrapping the idea altogether. So I just decided to make it up as I went. So using the heart from that beaded garland that we used on the bottom, I decided to go ahead and paint it. And then we're going to just attach it to the middle of this board. And my plan was you can either use your Cricut, use some stickers, however you choose to decorate this, but it was simple and easy. Now, I didn't want those letters to go to waste. I did end up paying almost $4 for them, which is kind of more than what I thought they were for some reason I thought they were like $2.98 but they were $3.98 so definitely wasn't gonna let those go to waste so I spelled out the word love and then using the letter Q because I'm not going to use that very often I decided to use the back portion of that and I had this tiny little 3D heart and I will show you those in an upcoming project on where I got that this makes for such a simple and cute tiered tray decor I will also link those wood rounds with the stands in my description box below in case you are interested in getting any of those. Now, what's funny about today's video is I literally just got done watching a video posted by uh, The Week's Nest and she did Conversation Hearts. She's done something with this and she did another book stack. You guys need to go check her out because I need to link her video or at least just go look at her newest video because I was amazed at how similar, but yet slightly different our projects were. So anyway, taking this love sign from the Dollar Tree, it came apart far easier than it probably should have. So I just kind of separated the word love, decided to give the back portion of it a coat of black paint. Now, typically uh, Dollar Tree has released these like 
heart-shaped grapevine forms, but I haven't seen them this year. And this is one that I had left over from last year because I think I got like, I don't know, something like three packets or something stupidly excessive like that. Anyway, I decided to kind of change it up a little bit, maybe keep it to a little bit more of like a neutral color. Not that the grapevine isn't necessarily neutral. I just kind of wanted to add some natural elements. Again, could the grapevine be any more natural? I don't know what I'm saying here. This makes no sense. It's been too long. I don't know how to do this anymore. <laughs> so Dollar Tree has some really great nautical rope options. I've got them showing here on the screen. Now they do come in two different sizes and they come in two different thicknesses. So you can pick which one you want. I did not end up using Dollar Tree rope. I had this really nice macrame cord on hand. And so instead of buying something, I decided to just use what I had on hand. And then I used a lot of these half round beads in my Christmas videos. And so I decided, oh, I'll use the great ones. Well, of course, I'm not going to measure or count them out ahead of time. And of course, it's right in the freaking middle that I end up without an extra bead. So I makeshifted my way through that and painted it with some elephant chalk paint. And then that was that. This ended up being so simple, so neutral, and I really enjoyed the color scheme to this. Now, yes, that one bead stands out like a sore thumb. It drives me a little bananas, but that's okay. So for this project, I really, it wasn't really a project. I honestly didn't even know that I was recording when I did this. I just wanted to take one of these adorable heart-shaped risers. Now, typically you can find these at Hobby Lobby, but they're like three bucks. Dollar Tree has them. And all I wanted to do was paint it black, so that I had a black riser. That was really it. So I didn't really consider it a project, but I just wanted to show you that it's something that you could do. Now I've had this rooster jar for far too long and I needed to get rid of it, but it's perfect tiered tray size. And that was kind of my whole theme with this. It's not necessarily tiered tray, but I'll show you the whole basket that I put together in the end on my um, entryway table. And I decided to just give the top portion a coat of black paint. Now I'm not gonna put food or anything edible inside of it. And so I wasn't too worried about any of the paint getting around the rim or even on the inside. I used regular old acetone that I get from the Dollar Tree and a sponge and I wiped away that gray um, rooster picture. This marker was new to me. I'd never seen these at Dollar Tree for, before. <laughs> and it's a glass paint marker. And I got red, white, and black. And at first I was like in love with it. But then as soon as I had to go back over it, I noticed it was just wiping off because I needed to let it dry. And well, you know, that's a level of patience I don't exactly possess. So I thought, okay, if someone else is better at drawing hearts, that's an option. If you're not as good at drawing hearts, say like me and drawing anything, I decided to trace the heart shape from one of the bearded, bearded, it's not a beard, it's beaded. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Welcome back. Welcome to, to tw Oh my gosh. I'm going to stop talking guys. Stop. Okay. So I used some Dollar Tree's vinyl. I decided to cut out the shape of a heart. I attached that with its own sticky back material and I put that on one side. So that's one option that you could do to decorate this. If you don't find those paint markers and you're able to find not the bearded garlands, but the beaded garlands, you can also detach the heart and hot glue it also. I went ahead and used the side with the vinyl sticker because I really liked it. I thought it was fun and I don't love the vinyl as far as in my cutting machine and I really wanted to make sure I got some good use out of it. So I decided to use it there. Here is another bearded garland. I can't believe I said that. And now it's all I can say. It's all I hear when I go to say the word beaded. All I hear is bearded. Using one of those garlands, I decided to keep it pretty much as is. I painted the white portion and then I decided to um, just add a rub on transfer also from the Dollar Tree. What I love is that this very quick, very simple change, I think it completely elevated the look of this project and I absolutely love it. I was shocked when I saw that my Dollar Tree had these little book stacks. Now this, there was only two. I only got one. I did not want to be the person who goes in and grab everything. Now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. We get excited and I understand, but I just felt really bad because it was such a good find. I wanted someone else to have that same excitement. So I did one full coat of um, this home decor paint. It's a folk art, which is a plaid product. The white is, sorry about that, it is cottage white. So I did two coats of that to get full coverage. And then I just used a very little bit of hot glue to attach this ribbon because this is a little bit more of a Valentine's Day themed ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree, but I don't necessarily want 
that ribbon on year round. So I did a very little dab of hot glue just so that I could take it apart because I felt like this would be really pretty to have up year round. And so for these rub on transfers, I chose words that I felt didn't necessarily create a sentence, but I thought that they were also meaningful. So for us, forever, and we're friends. And I think that those are some things, again, that are very important when it comes to relationships and marriages. And I just thought that this was very memorable and important, and I had a lot of fun. So let's keep moving. Going back to my favorite water-based wood stain by Bear. This one is in dark walnut. I also have special walnut, but I wanted this one a little bit more dark. I had done a lot of light woods at Christmas time, so I was just switching it up a little bit. I freehanded the word love in pencil because I cannot be trusted to draw anything in pen. We saw the heart. We've seen this. It, it's not new. I don't draw. So taking these little like toothpick skewer things that I got. It was like a pack that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. I just separated the hearts from the skewers themselves. And then I was just kind of playing around with how I wanted to design them. And then using, this is actually their um, glass paint pen. It had a really nice brush to it. And so I was able to kind of make the word a little bit fancier and it, it was fun. Um, if you have a Cricut and you want to do that, be my guest. I do have a Cricut, but I just don't always love to break it out that and I know not everyone has one and so I do try my best to show very versatile uh projects that don't need anything real special now all I'm doing is I'm taking oh I'm so sorry about that background noise I am taking the string and I am poking it through the holes that had already existed and I'm using one of those bearded garland hangers and I'm using a strain of those as a faux hang now I'm not actually going to hang it it is absolutely just going to be a little bit of a like uh, I want to say shelf sitter this is another very very fast project I found this space I decided to dump a bunch of paint right into the middle and I just swirled it around now it took a little while and it had to dry overnight but just by adding some simple eucalyptus greenery I thought that this was a really fun added element to this little basket that I was putting together for display. Now our last project is super simple. It was just a scrap piece of that ribbon. I painted a wood tag. Now this wood tag I actually got from Chalk Couture. Um, I am the like a, what is it, a Couture member or whatever, where I get like a little subscription every month. And this was, this little tag was in that and I just hadn't quite used it yet. And so I really wanted to use it. Anyway, I just painted it, threw on some scrap ribbon, and I used a rub-on transfer, which worked remarkably well on this scrap ribbon. You guys, that is it. It is fast. It is to the point. None of these took forever, but let me just say thank you so much for your patience. I am so excited to be back. You guys, there are some big plans. Stay tuned.